right, Cindy, thanks for coming in. Um, I'm excited to hear about the show idea you have. Okay, so I've been working on this, right? So there's this girl. She's like, I'm super damaged and fucked up because of horrible occurrences in my childhood. And the first part of her backstory, right? Oh my god, so long. Yeah, so she's like this religious girl who's setting up for a purity ball in like an old podunk town, you know, where they say like, how's the weather, huh? And thanks for the pie cake. Pie. What? Is it pie? No. Pie. 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 Yeah. Thanks for the pie. So, anyway, she has a crush on the pastor, but little does she know, there's a fucking killer on the loose who kills families. And he's all, oh snap, I'm breaking in and killing you, and it's mysterious and foreboding. So she's like setting up for this weird purity ball and the sexy pastor and things start to get weird. But then we jump to a different universe future. Yeah, yeah, and the, and our main lady, she's living in the woods in the Pacific Northwest and she's at this weird high school and there's this other high school with sexy vampires who've been living this like endless existence of high schoolness and putting on a prom since like the 1980s. No. Uh. Scratch that. Hold The 1990s. <coughs> okay, so then she stumbles into their nefarious plans and shit goes down. Like seriously, you do not want to mess with this purity ball vampire hunter lady bitch. Whoa! She tries to crash the prom to expose all the lies and cover-ups and shit really starts to get cray. Like, in a major way. There's blood and sexy vampires and Christians and dancing. It's great and scary and I want it to be poignant, you know, like really hit the feels. Oh man, this makes such a difference. I can like feel my brain working better now. Anyway, <clears throat> so we're back in the purity ball basement. In the other universe future, you know, like some fucking J.J. Abrams lens flare shit. We can do lens flares, right? So while she battles the vampires, we also see her battling the advances of the creepy priest. Is he the killer? We don't know. Will she survive? We don't know. Well, I mean, she does survive because we see her in the future battling sexy teenage vampires. But I mean, what really happened that night? You know? Anyway, it's gonna be fucking awesome. We've got, you know, it's horrifying, it's breathtaking, and a fucking climax that's gonna, it's gonna kill. You know, it's, I think we got it. I think this is, this is our year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, cool, okay. Um, interesting. Uh, I have a thought. What if we took all of that and we turned it in to two shows? <laughs>